looking for the football. Al Lee is right down on the goal line for that one. It looked like Bumgarner was looking the other way, Al. Well, he could have been, but uh, they had Gorley down there. They also had Meyer down there. They kind of flooded this side of the field, and uh, Baumgartner just turned around, and so, you, like you say, surprise, there's the ball. So it's touchdown, Jerome, 20-8. to eight. All right, the Tigers come up with their third score of the evening, and now Augustine Guzman will try the extra point out of the Clark Bumgarner hole, and he splits the uprights. The Tigers lead it 21 to 8. They certainly did on that play. Ruder's back to pass. He's got a man out in the flat. This is Bumgarner over the 45-yard line, tucks his head, gets it down to about the 41, and it's going to be third down and short yardage for the Jerome Tigers. And you're right, Al, they're talking about the quarterback now. And here is the kick uh, from the Bob. Catch. Clark Bumgarner takes it, gets a block now, turns it upfield, and here's a flag. So even if he does go all the way, they're going to call it back again. Bumgarner gets it all the way down to the 20-yard line, but hold the phone, sports fans, because there is a flag down on the play at about the 42-yard line. And Al, you're going to have to help me out again. The punter that time was number 30. Running back. Ruder, call signals. He's got time. Here comes the heat. He's got a man down the middle. Bumgarner, great catch in traffic. Splits to the outside, to the 10, to the 5 and out of bounds he goes and that's the same play they used earlier in the game on a fourth down and seven play they run Gorley long and bring Bumgarner from the slot and break him to the outside in effect Gorley is running a pick for him which he cannot do that's illegal at yard line wishbone Handoff will go to Bumgarner. Follows the blocking, breaks a tackle, touchdown! Tigers, Clark Bumgarner follows the blocking up front. Pedro is in front of him. Alan Elis is in front of him, and Clark Bumgarner just made some tough running inside. And the Tigers... ...to be. Ruder, back to pass, steps up in the pocket, tucks it, he's got good speed. He's to the outside, he's in a foot race with Gibbons. He's got his wide receivers blocking downfield for him. Bumgarner and Gorley had both of the corners tied up, and Lonnie Ruder gets it all way down inside the 10-yard line to about the 8. Credit the offensive line for giving him time, and Clark Bumgarner and John Goley downfield had both of the corners all tied up for the fingertip control. Here's Tony Soda's kick. It's a line drive to Bumgarner at the 40, 35, 30, down to the 25, and the Tigers will have excellent field position as Bumgarner took that inside the Bobcat 40-yard line on the line drive punt from Tony Soda. And, uh, Randy Lance out to the right side. They hand it off to Clark Bumgarner. Bumgarner gets it out over uh, right tackle. They're sometimes called a 4-4 a defense or an even man front. Running back, another running play. This one is to Forrest Ward, number 26. Good pickup of about eight yards. Deep within Jerome's territory. We'll see what the Bruins can unwind here. Hand off straight up the middle to a new running back. And that is number, let me check his number. Ready to go for the PAT. Little trick play here by the Tigers. And uh, Bumgarner's gonna run it in for two. John, you wanna comment on that play for well, us? Well, it's, it's kinda like- Picked know. up a first and 10, so it'll be first. actually first and goal from the nine yard line. We've been uh, ripping up some great yardage here. Hand off to number 12 for the Tigers. He's sweeping around the right end, and he's going to be in there for six. Great play by Clark Bumgardner, showing a lot of speed. Good scamper around the right side of the line, and uh, our score right now is going to be 14 to 0. Well, they're going to they're gonna run the same set on the uh, point after here. You'll see that they go with the sweep on this one. In other words, they, they fake the... Uh, they faked that run the last three times and picked up big chunks of yardage. So he's thing. got to be respected as far as that speed. And he's a tough, strong kid, too. And you see him in a track uniform, boy. I'll tell you, the muscles <laughs> all over. Not the kind of guy you're going to want to meet in the alley, huh? That's all right. right. We got number 12 with the ball. One gardener. Okay, that's, good game. A, that's the same play that they ran down uh, just before they scored their touchdown, only they, they run it the other way this time. A little 15 left to go in the second quarter. Corner back to pass. Pass over to the sidelines. Ball was caught and then dropped. Out of bounds. And we're going to wait for a call, but the way Jerome's yelling. It looked like Brian Reed, uh, yeah, yep. he picked, he caught the ball, turned to go, and it just fell out of his hands. There's a difference here that Jerome is going to be a lot more sluggish running the ball. But that's not true. Alaninas has done a fantastic job, and we'll see if they continue that here in the second half. The kick is off. 
being picked up down on about the 10 yard line by number 12 he's going to run it up a good run back to about the 34 yard line for Jerome number 12 is Clark Bumgard he's done a great job tonight all night he's been steady uh, running the football all night long all right so Jerome taking a 23 yard line and Lon Reuter this is the first sustained drive Lon's had here really about the big play it's off to the side to number 12 Gore, or excuse me that's Bumgardner come back with the same play action uh, lead back uh, goes out into the flat they fake the, the handoff and then hit the lead back you'll see Bumgartner be the lead blocker but slip out into the flat Ruder gets him the ball and he turns up field does a good job of getting himself squared up and up the, up the football Plusky rooting the ball out of there and another good kick by McCluskey and back to get it again is Bumgartner bringing it straight up the field a lot of Bruins around the ball carrier no fumble this time and so the tigers will be taking over on about their 26 yard line they come the tigers up getting down to the point the point in the ball game where another touchdown here is going to make it pretty tough for the Bruins to come back Gordy Pax got a man open from Gardner going to be taking it down to about the 12 yard line you know that's play. the same play Ted number 66 yeah. for the tigers so the Bruins are back in punt formation with the punter back in the end zone. Ball's kicked out of there, end over end kick. Bumgardner not going to call fair catch. Here he goes. Up to the far side of the field, making some good runs as we run out of bounds. So he takes the ball up to around the 21, 22 yard line. And the Tigers will take over there with six. And in the field, we should have Marsh Valley in lane number one. Wood River goes in lane two. Jerome has three, Kellogg four. In the fifth lane, it'll be Wallace, sixth lane, Shelley, Payette in seven. And in the last lane, or lane number eight, it is St. Mary's in this, the boys, four by 100 meter relay. And there it is, folks. The Jerome Tigers have it their way as Jerome is the state champions in the 4x100 relay. Coming in first for Jerome, it was Clark Baumgartner, Dan Carter, Ryan Schwager, and John Gourley with a time of 43.94 seconds. Wood River takes away, and here's the lane assignments right now. In the A2 boys medley relay, in lane number one, it's going to be Cuna. Payette's in second. Salmon is in the third lane. In the fourth lane, right the middle of the track, in a good lane is Jerome. Fifth the lane will go to Wallace. American Falls in sixth. In the seventh lane, Valley View and Buell will run in lane number eight. In this, the medley relay finals for the A2 boys. In the exchange now, the 200, it will be the Payette Pirates with the exchange and along with the Jerome Tigers. And it is Jerome, and here comes Valley View and Buell around the turn. It's Jerome. And lane number five is Wallace and Buell. And it will be Jerome now going into the 400 meters. And that will be Scott Burton running the 400 meters for Jerome. Jerome, Scott Burton. And 
Bingo. Come on, make it. Thank <laughs> you.